Hi, I'm Blake Connors, and today we're going to be showing you how to play Fruit Assassin. Let's get right into it. Whether it's your first time playing the game, or you put it away from a previous game, you're going to want to organize all the cards so that they match. So we're going to have each character, a blue character and a red character, together. Alright, just like so. And we're going to do that for all 10 characters. And then you have your rule book, which we don't need. Next, you're going to count how many players you're playing with. The minimum amount is five, but for our example, we're going to use three. So then, we only take three characters. We'll use Mr. Avocado, Professor Pineapple, and Dr. Apple. The rest we can put to the side. Next, in the final page of your rule book, there will be a chart listing how many victory point cards you'll need based on the number of players you are playing with. Again, the minimum is five, but for our example, we're just going to use three cards. Next, you're going to want to take all the characters, you're going to shuffle them up, and just like so, you're just going to flop them on the table, spread them out a bit. Now you're going to have each player take one blue character card and one red character card. All right, so this player will take these, this player will take these. Now let's see what we have. Our assassin is our character and our target is the person that we want to assassinate. All right. For example uh, sake, let's swap these cards and I will get back to that situation we had in just a moment. So what we want to do is we want to find Dr. Apple between one of these two cards and we want to assassinate Dr. Apple. Thus, someone else is trying to find our assassin, Professor Pineapple, and assassinate them. There are three things you can do during your turn. The first thing is inspect. So we will go first and we will inspect Jimmy. We're going to say, Jimmy, I want to see your target. So Jimmy will say, okay, he'll slide me his target and we'll be able to see that he has Mr. Avocado as a target. As we say, thank you, Jimmy, and we give him back his card. When you inspect, you can only see one of their cards, either the assassin or the target. That's the end of our turn. We know that Jimmy, what Jimmy's target is, and now we go clockwise, and it's Jimmy's turn. And conveniently, Jimmy is going to do the second thing we can do on our turn. We can also trade. So Jimmy is going to say, okay, Billy, I want to trade targets with you. So Billy and Jimmy are going to trade targets and Jimmy's turn is over. And Billy is going to do the third thing that we could do on our turn, which is assassinate. But before that, let's get, let's go over what we could do so far. You can inspect one of their cards, or you can trade one of their cards, or you can assassinate a player. Those are the only three things you can do. And I go over that because it's about to get complicated. In this example, let's say Billy wants to assassinate Jimmy. So we're going to say, Billy, I'm assassinating Jimmy, and Billy's target matches Jimmy's assassin. Therefore, Jimmy's eliminated. Billy gets Jimmy's old target and is now Billy's new target. 
In this example, let's say Billy wants to assassinate us. So we look at Billy's cards and we look at my cards and we see that Billy's target does not match my assassin. Therefore, Billy is eliminated. We take Billy's assassin and he puts it in the middle of the table. Whoever has Billy's assassin as a target comes forward and says, it was me. And now without Jimmy knowing, we acquire Billy's target and it's now our new target. In this example, let's say you have yourself as a target. So let's say we want to assassinate Billy. So we show each other our cards. And even though we do not have our target matching, because Billy has himself as the target, he is eliminated. Let me go over that again. If you are targeted to be assassinated and you have yourself as a target, you are the one eliminated. Next is the most important rule of the game. When you assassinate someone, you go again. This can happen an unlimited number of times. In this example, let's say that we want to assassinate Billy. We show each other our cards without Jimmy seeing our cards. And our target matches Billy's assassin. Therefore, Billy is eliminated. We acquire Billy's target. And now it is our turn to go again. We don't have to assassinate someone. We could inspect or trade or assassinate. Again, any of the three options. So now we'll say, okay, Jimmy, I'd like to trade targets with you. And thus, Jimmy and I trade targets. At the end of the round, when there's one player remaining, they will earn a victory point. You play an amount of rounds equal to the amount of victory cards that you started the game with, which again is in the last page of your rulebook. The first person who goes next round is the player who received the victory point. The game ends when all the victory cards are given out to players, and the player with the most victory cards at the end wins the game. 